night to everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and tell them that we are live on air again. And the topic now, the creation of the man as it's mentioned in the Quran. As we promised you, we will make this uh, video small, short, so you can download it. In order to show you the point of view of Muslims, we decided to, ch to choose an article. I just searched in Google a second ago and I got this. The creation of the man as mentioned in the Quran by Sadaf Faruqi. Here, Mr. Faruqi is saying that, you know, there is many, uh, you know, media speak about uh, things, speak about Islam, or speak about uh, science, etc. And here he want to show you that how the Quran revealed the process of the creation of the human being, as you see from the article. And he quote for us, in fact, the Quran, describe uh, such a development, and he gave us 14 centuries ago. And he quote for us the verse from the Quran. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةِ مِنْ طِينَ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَ فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينَ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُطْفَ عَلَقَ فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَ مُضْغَ فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَ عِظَامًا فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرًا فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ Translation, and this is the Muslim translation, remember, not my translation, I don't approve any Islamic translation, but yet we will use it to show you the proofs. Verily we created the man uh, uh, from a product worth earth, with, with earth, then placed him in a drop, as a drop of seed, in safe lodging then we fashion the drop into a cloth and then we fashion the cloth into a little loom then we fashion the little loom into bones and then the bones the, we, we, then we close the bones with the flesh and we produce another creation this is a chapter 23 verse number 12 and 14 here he give you another verse it it is he who had created you from a dust and from a sperm drop then from a leech like a clot and then uh, 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 by the way here he says like it doesn't say that but anyway this is his translation we will go with it then uh, does he get you out uh, as a child uh, you know and he he, he quote and he's quoting another one according to Ibn Kathir this reference of the man create creation is from Torab which means dust imply the origin of mankind the creation of the first man being uh, being prophet adam alayhi salam created from dust and allah did create him from dust here we have a problem i don't know if anyone noticed if adam was created in the heaven of allah in the heaven of allah where allah himself he lived so what dust is doing there the garden of adam and eve in in the bible it's in the earth not in sky we continue he mentioned to cre the creation of your father Adam from dust, and then he continued. Why would Allah then invite us to bend, to ponder on the origin of our creation? The context which is he, min uh, he mentioned, our origin led to some interesting observation. But first, let us analyze the word most uh, 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 repeated in the Quran. By the way, uh, uh, the first book speaking about man is uh, created first from dust is in the book of uh, Genesis and you can go and read so Muhammad he brought nothing new I mean the Bible teach and the uh, New Testament says the same now here the roots of the word uh, yantuf nutfa nutfa uh, flow gently trickle ooze drop the dictionary of the meaning of the word nutfa is a drop of a fluid semen it's a clear it's a clear liquid a little uh, or a, or a lot from this is used for the man, uh, the word water, uh, rajul, water, the semen of the man. Uh, so here he is giving you the, the, the translation of the word nutfa, which is mentioned in the Quran. And remember, until now, I'm just reading for you the article. I don't have time left to, to go, like uh, to start, but I'm just trying to be fair and showing you what the Muslims are saying. But by what they said, and this translation in front of us, they just prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Allah has created you from a sperm drop. The human being is not created from a drop of a sperm. The human being is created from one semen, not a drop. Because the woman, the woman egg will be fertilized by one semen, that not by a drop. The Quranic claim here that the, the sperm of the man, which is the drop of semen, will transform into a clot. And this is what he mentioned here, the word nutfa. 
So now he gave us the, the, the Muslim Abdul himself. He said the nutfa, the nutfa mean, as you see, he gave us the interpretation. Nutfa is a drop of a fluid, but a human being is not, and this fluid is a semen. But a human being is not created from a drop of semen. The, the human being is created from an egg and women, the woman egg and the, and the man semen, not a drop. Here, you know, the Muslim, they will not mention to you that the Quran says when he translated this, he did not really translate to us accurately. He mentioned this, he said, and then we created the nutfa and we make it a clot. But the fact the Quran says, he says a clot, which is a congealed blood. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. We will try to keep it under the 15 minute. Uh, this is the Muslim translation. You see how the Muslims always they hide the truth from you and they hide that this is a congealed dead blood. And this is an obvious, a clear mistake in the Quran. How Allah, he makes such a mistake in his God that he created us from a sperm and they made the sperm transform into a clot of a congealed blood. The sperm itself transform. You see, if you go in the article here, you will see a lot of deception in this article. We created you from a product of wet earth. And then he planned, etc. And then, actually, let's read this one here. This is the one we are reading. He created it from dust and drop of a sperm. And then from a leech. But it doesn't say that. It says we transformed the clot into a leech. The drop, we became a clot. And the clot, we became a leech. You see here how, we, how he's, he added the word then, then from a leech. It doesn't say that. Go to the translation. You see, I'm comparing between two Muslim translations, and then you see how the deception work. We made the sperm into a clot, not sperm and then a clot. The sperm itself transformed into a clot, and there's no scientist believe in such a garbage. And the clot is what? Is made from a congealed blood, which means a dead blood. And then the congealed blood became a flesh and the flesh and, 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 and bones, sorry, bones, uh, a, a loom and then bones. And then we close the flesh by the, the, the bones by flesh. So this is all proven to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Now, if we go in the Quran, as long as we are talking about the creation of the baby, there's another verse in the Quran, chapter 86, verse number six and seven. And this is Ibn Kathir, he explained. And remember, in the article of the Muslim, he used Ibn Kathir to explain his Quran. So he cannot say it, it talking about the same exact topic about how the how the how the man how the human is created. So Muslim cannot say that we don't accept Ibn Kathir now. You use it yourself as a, a, a guideline for meaning. This means this is his your scholar, and you agree with him. Ibn Kathir he said clearly that the baby is created from a gushing fluid. Chapter eighty six, verse number uh, six and seven, gushing fluid which is coming from the man and the woman. He created you from water gushing forth, meaning a sexual fluid that comes burst forth from the men and the women. Thus the child will produce by both of them. And then proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the, uh, of the man and the ribs of the women. So the God of the Quran claim that women and men, both of them, they produce sexual fluid and that caused the baby to come to existence. And the sexual fluid come from the backbone of the man, as you see, and the ribs of the women. And that's alone proven to us. And by the way, this is not only Ibn Kathir was saying, this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying, As-Sulb as is the hard bone, which is the last one in the in the end of, of your uh, uh, back. Down, if you like, going all the way, touching your bum, you will see that, you, that, that the last bone in your uh, uh, spine is that, that is the Sulb. So Muhammad, he claimed that the sperm of the man is coming from the Sulb, and which is the backbone as you see and the women coming from the ribs and that's alone is enough to prove to us that muhammad is a false prophet but is that it alone is enough no we have more muhammad even he go farther and he claim more crazy stuff as an example the man and the women when they have sex they both they see their sperm coming out and the man in the article he explained to us what the word water mean the water here explained by Muhammad better. If you remember in the article, the guy, he says the word water 
he says water here he meant the sperm all right if you go here he talk about to rob the dust and then he talk about water let us go and search for the water so we can make it appear immediately uh, you see water so Muhammad and the Quran both of them they use the word water and the word water means semen not any water Muhammad he claim that men and women they have water which is semen and that semen of the man is white and the women is thin and yellow and whoever of them comes first will make the baby resemble the parents which mean the baby will become male or female we can find the same is in the hadith sahih muslim 315 and the muslims always they in, in order to hide the madness here look they add things between two bracket which is not exist so here the same hadith we showed you about the women water is yellow look what it says so if the the prophet said the uh, uh, about the substance of the man is white and of the women i.e over a central partition and this is in the bracket is not exist in the hadith it is yellow and when they have sexual intercourse the male and the male substance and here they add the word the chromosome that's false doesn't say that doesn't say that what a chromosome uh, a prevail upon the female substance and here again they add a lie to cover the shame the chromosome uh, it is a male a child so Muhammad he claimed that if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a male child here we go we get them busted with this false interpret translation there here he Muhammad he made it clear if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a male if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a female and the what is the what is the female sperm is the white uh, uh, the yellow water which she see in her vagina and this hadith Muhammad even explained better and he a woman she came to him and she said that she saw a leak within her vagina because she was having sexual dream and uh, she said uh, uh, that she have discharged Muhammad he says if the woman she see this charge then she have to perform a bath the, the the wife of Muhammad she said does the women have that which mean the women have orgasm because his wife she never have orgasm he said yes the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow and which other of them comes first the baby will resemble the parents which mean the baby will be male or female Muhammad obviously is a false prophet tons of mistakes in one 10 15 minutes story thank you guys for being here download the video and share it with your friends and I will try to come back on li life again maybe after 10 minutes so we can download them and we make a series of them I will keep doing this until I get tired all right please download the video don't forget share it with your friends and thank you very much and don't forget if you'd like to learn more you can read my books which you can find in Amazon in many languages Spanish uh, Dutch German uh, Swedish French etc and English for sure thank you very much Christ is Lord Islam is false